Well, we have about 10 minutes left, and this is our paranormal experience tonight. And so I cannot let you out of here without... <laughs> we, we have had a conversation in the past, Christina and I. And, you know, we, we've had a couple of paranormal um, experience podcasts, and we've talked about haunted places. And we, she and I are under this miscon- are under the belief that graveyards really aren't that haunted, that hospitals have to be one of the most mm. haunted places around. So we had, we'd even said, we need to get a long-term nurse or a doctor in here and have them talk to us and kind of give them some, us some stories about things that might have happened in their hospital. So now, uh-huh. you're, so now you're on the hot seat. And, oh, yeah. And I've we would like stuff. to talk to you about, you've been at the same hospital for 27 years, 20, 20 years, you said? 20, so? It's, yeah, almost 20 years. So I've been almost 20 years. years. Yeah. You have a, you have a, a housekeeper there who, who obviously sees stuff. She, she sees what's going on. She knows ha- something's happening. What kind of experiences have you had? Okay, I've got some to share. Awesome. Yeah, so so we actually do have, we. so I work in a two-hospital system. Um, they're separated by about 30 minutes in the same um, metropolitan area. And in one of our hospitals, there is a, um, there was an expansion of hospital rooms to a different part of the hospital. Mm-hmm. And those uh, rooms that were vacated were now offices or storage, and they are no longer used by patients. And there is a, room um where some of us have had some experiences me included that um the you know when you are in a hospital and you're in a like a bathroom you'll see a cord that if you're in trouble you can pull it i don't know if you've ever seen that okay and a light goes off somewhere an alarm so there is a room like 247 in the corner on this (laughs) vacated office room that every now and then that light will go off and it is you know, the, it's connected to alarms and pagers, and people will go there. And now we're at the point of ignoring it, because every time it goes off, we know nobody's in there. And they've tried disconnecting the cord, like cutting the electronics, mm-hmm. and it still goes off that, you know, someone's in there, somebody needs help. And so that's one case. And, you know, there's an operating room at the other hospital, operating room one, that is not even used for surgery anymore because people, you know, things happen, things move. And so now it is a place where we store extra ventilators. So if we have run out of ventilators and we need one, um, you know, people, you know, our respiratory therapist will say, yeah, I'm not going in there by myself. You call security (laughs) because things move, things they're thrown, things scoot, things. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, we'll kind of, especially at night, we'll kind of all go in there together, grab a ventilator, get out of there real quick, and go back to the intensive care unit where we where we use it. But yeah, you, you I literally mean, have to go in packs. You have to go in packs to the oh, operating yeah, room. Yeah, 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 <laughs> and, yeah. And I actually, I mean, the the office where I work in one hospital, um, it's it's a hole in the wall. It used to be a closet, and now it's been you know converted into an office, and. Um, you know, it's, it's a strange little space and I always leave the door open, uh, because it's a little uncomfortable and, um, you know, every now and then, you know, the door will kind of, kind of move Uh the, it has one of those Venetian blinds, um, kind of thing that, um, uh, that goes over the whole, um, glass door and every now and then it'll kind of sway. And I just kind of keep the door propped wide open with, you know, um, I, you know, I'm I'm so comfortable at, and at ease with with spirit, but nobody likes to be surprised, right? right? And caught off guard. And you know, whenever I'm doing my daily work of taking care of patients, I don't like to be surprised or caught off guard with things that I don't know. And you're right; in hospitals, things happen. That's incredibly funny to me that you feel uncomfortable telling stories oh, yeah. about near death experiences, but you all walk in packs <laughs> to the operating room because you exactly. realize that it's haunted. So it's okay to talk about a haunted Exactly. Ho- How did you justify that to the hospital administration saying we can't use that operating room anymore? How did they determine uh, yeah, yep, we're no not going to use it? I mean that yeah, that preceded me, honestly. <laughs> it's been that way. Yeah. <laughs> this hospital is 150 years old. Oh my. And as long as I've been here, oh, you know, oh almost 20 years that operating room operating room one has never been in commission and you know there's a part of me with, that would just love to shut the whole hospital down and do a ghost hunt but oh my god i would love sure. that i would <laughs> love that be it great? 
I, I, we would yeah. bring our daughter in there. We would have our little yes. our ghost hunting gear, and we would she talk would about it. That. We would have a podcast on it. You gar- I guarantee it. Oh, that would be amazing. Because I, yeah. I, I know Christina, when she was pregnant with the children. Uh, well, just Sam. When I was pregnant with Sam, I was on hospital bed rest, and I was um, there for a few months. And, yeah, I mean, you could hear the the noises. I mean, you could, uh, for me, I could feel, I could all, it almost felt like a difference from the real people that were out there walking in the hallways and talking and stuff to not so real people that my door would open. Yeah. You're like, why is my door opening? Because I was just there. I was monitored. You know, the belly was being monitored. So they didn't come in and bother me a whole lot, you know, unless they saw a lot of contractions or whatever. So it's not like they were coming in and taking my blood pressure every hour or anything like that. So during the night, I was pretty much left alone. But sometimes my door would just open and I'm like, well, there's... Yeah, yes. that's not <laughs> supposed to happen. <laughs> and just There's I don't know. Presence. Yeah, you could. Fe- I just I could. Yeah. It felt weird. <laughs> she used to tell me that all the time. Yeah, there's presence. Yeah, and you know we hear that from patients too. And um, you know even in our intensive care unit, you think about people who have died in there. There's a room now that you know lights come on on and off. Uh, the water comes on and off on its own. Oh wow! And it's it's always the same room. And you know we um, I don't know. I have the habit of and I don't know we're almost out of time, but I have the habit of just kind of protecting that room. Uh-huh. Uh, because, you know, I, you know, whoever kind of, you know, slipped their physical body in that room and is a little um, disconnected, you know, they, they don't really have a place to impact the healing of what's going on in that room at this moment. And I, you know, in whatever, you know, power we all have to say, you know, be on your way, be well, go to the light, go to good you know, please do not Im- impact the, pa- the what's going on with this patient at this time. I think, you know, those of us who are in tune need to claim that um, and, you know, help both sides, really. Yeah. Have you ever gone that far before where you actually find yourself oh. talking to whatever it may be in that room? Every single day, yeah. honestly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we know whether it's true or not. I mean, I feel an obligation as a physician to be able to say my intention is to provide the best possible care I can for this patient who is alive in this room right now and to do service to those who are not. So, I mean, it has become, you know, my, my, my daily intention, my mantra, my, um, you know, my, my positive focus as I go throughout my day to help, you know, whoever I can and cannot see.